When you hear someone say that they are a consultant or that they do consulting for a living, do you ever wonder what the heck that actually means? I'm a former consultant that worked at Bain & Company and in this video I'll tell you exactly what the heck consultants do. I'll give you both a high level answer and an actual day to day answer that reveals the nitty gritty details of what consultants actually do. So what do consultants do at a high level? A consultant is someone that works with clients to solve specific business problems. A consultant can work by themselves as an independent consultant or work for a consulting firm that employs many consultants. Consulting firms typically deploy consultants in teams of four to six people to work on a given project. There is typically one manager that leads the day-to-day -day work and a few analysts and consultants that work underneath them. A consulting partner provides high-level guidance to the team by leveraging their expertise in a particular industry or function. The projects that consultants work on take anywhere from a few months to a few years, although three to nine months is typically the average project duration. The business problems that consultants solve can be almost any type of problem. There are many different types of consulting. Strategy or management consultants advise clients on their highest level strategic issues. For example, these consultants can help a company determine which markets they should compete in, how they can win, and whether they should acquire a company, to give a few examples. Operations consultants help clients improve the performance of their operations. For example, these consultants can help improve a company's production capabilities, supply chain, or sales team effectiveness. Technology or IT consultants are focused on the development and application of information technology in an organization. For example, these consultants can help a company set up the right technologies and systems and make the necessary system integrations or transitions. Financial consultants are focused on the financial capabilities of their clients. They help clients with a wide range of topics such as corporate finance, tax, restructuring, risk management, forensic research, and support disputes. Human resources consultants help clients with human capital questions in improving the performance of their human resources department. For example, these consultants can help companies make organizational changes, manage talent, and improve employee learning and development. So what do consultants actually do day to day? There are eight main tasks that consultants do every day. The task that a particular consultant does depends on their role and seniority. Before we go over the day-to-day -day tasks that consultants do, please take a second to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our consulting content. Number one, gathering information and data. Consulting recommendations are based on information and data. Therefore, a lot of the day-to-day -day consulting job involves gathering information and data. Consultants can gather information by interviewing industry experts and clients. They may collect information from customers by running focus groups or conducting surveys. Consultants also perform secondary research, reading market and industry reports. They may also request data from their clients to analyze. Number two, analyzing data. Once consultants have data, they'll begin to analyze the data to identify insights to inform their recommendations. Microsoft Excel is the most commonly used tool for analysis, but consultants can also use more advanced statistical software such as Tableau, Alteryx, and R. Number three, making presentation slides. Once consultants have gathered the information they need, analyzed the data, and reached a recommendation, they will make slides in order to communicate their work. Slide making is a skill that consultants must be able to do very well. In order to persuade their clients to take their recommended course of action, slides need to be clear and easy to follow. The slides need to tell a cohesive story. Number four, giving presentations. Consultants will present their work several times to clients over the course of a project. Besides the final presentation at the end of the project, consultants will also deliver interim updates so that their clients know that the project is on track. During presentations, clients will often ask follow-up questions and suggest additional ideas or areas that they would like the consulting team to explore. Number five, iterating on work. Consulting requires a lot of iteration. When a consultant has finished gathering information, analyzing the data, and making presentation slides, the case team manager will review the work and provide feedback. The feedback will be incorporated before the partner reviews the work. The partner will also provide feedback, which will be incorporated before the client sees the work. Finally, the client will provide their own feedback and suggestions, which will be incorporated before the next presentation. This iterative process may be repetitive, but helps consultants deliver high quality work. Number six, managing the project. Consulting managers take on the role of managing the team, the client, and the partners involved. 
Managers ensure that the team members are working on the right things and are on the right track. They also manage the direct relationships with their clients, setting up meetings to ask questions and get feedback. Finally, managers also deal with the partners involved with the project, collecting feedback and guidance from them on the team's work and ensuring that they are satisfied. Number seven, selling consulting work. Consulting managers and partners also take on the role of selling consulting services. They use their network and relationships to find opportunities where companies and clients could benefit from consulting services. Selling consulting work may be an entire consulting project by itself. The process involves doing research on the company and industry to identify needs. Then, presentation slides need to be made to communicate a story on why the company needs help and why the consulting firm is best suited to help them. Finally, partners will pitch this presentation to clients to sell them on their services. Number eight, building the firm's expertise and knowledge base. In addition to working on consulting projects and helping sell consulting work, consultants may also spend some time developing the firm's own expertise and knowledge base. After a consulting project, consultants may be asked to document the learnings and knowledge acquired from the project into the firm's knowledge base. This lets other consultants refer back to this work to help with future consulting projects in the same industry or on a similar topic. If you're interested in breaking into consulting, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We provide a ton of free resources on the consulting recruiting and interview process, in addition to resources for passing consulting interviews. And if you're looking for a step-by-step -step shortcut to learn consulting case interviews quickly and save yourself hundreds of hours, check out our comprehensive case interview course and books. Links are in the video description. We teach the most robust, effective case interview strategies in the least time-consuming way to save you hundreds of hours of prep time and help you land multiple consulting job offers.